you should try to learn Arabic at least to this extent, not just so we can converse and try to make ourselves look stylish in front of people, but at least when Qala Allah and Qala Rasul happens, we can understand what's being said. You know, I'm half English and I had to learn all these languages. I was not born in an Urdu Arabic speaking house. I'm only saying it to give you some tarqib. I'm not saying I'm a better than you. I'm actually, you don't know. We don't know who is maqbul Allah. The reality is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala satartu alik fi dunya and so on. Wallahu a'lam, what is the condition of us? Let's just hope Allah ta'ala makes afiyah. But I'm saying, if you just make a little bit of effort, understand that we need to connect with our deen. You cannot fully connect with your deen if you don't understand what Allah and Rasul are actually saying. It becomes, it goes over our head. So maybe as I mentioned that additionally, take this intention with you. Okay, we will try a little bit, inshallah. Try and connect to our deen a little bit. Try to understand some basic Arabic for the, with the right intention. Okay, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when I'm praying salah and I say, Alhamdulillah, I'm thinking of Allah. When I'm saying Rabbil Alameen, I'm thinking of Allah. When I'm saying Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, I'm thinking of Allah. When I'm saying Maliki Yomidin, I'm thinking of Allah. When I say Iyaka Na'budu, I'm thinking of Allah. When I say Iyaka Nasta'in, I'm thinking of Allah. When I say Qulhu Allahu Ahad, I'm thinking of Allah. When I say Allahu Samad, I'm thinking of Allah. We just up and down, like as one men person mentioned it, no different than a bird pecking a seed. Is that if that is the condition of our salah, what salah will disconnect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It's not a thing that if I'm not Arab, how am I going to learn? If I'm not like this, how am I going to learn? No. Tawfiq comes from Allah. Istita'ad and Tawfiq comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I went in one gathering, young boy, he was so tiny, subhanAllah, young boy, Somali boy. He just turned eight. Hawul Quran, Hafid al Quran. Hawul Quran. One young girl, Pakistani girl, Luton, eight years old, full Hafid al Quran. What well, you can't do? We spent three years, five years, three years on a bachelor's, four years sandwich, two years extra master's, then an extra two years MPhil, and if you're fortunate to do a PhD, an extra three years minimum or five years part time. Right or wrong? And still, despite that, there is no guarantee that as soon as you graduate, you're going to walk into 50, 60k a year job. Nah. Now you've got a job, job hunt. Now you've got to search. Now you've got to put yourself out in public. Now you've got to rub shoulders with the world, and you've got to make your worth. After 15, 20 years of education, you've still got to make your worth. We know people, one young boy, mashallah, he was in the London Darul Loom. He became a Hafid of Quran in five months, 14 days, he became a Hafid of Quran. I know the boy, young boy personally, Daniel, his name is. If you're thinking, my man's chatting garbage, bro. Nah. I know the boy personally, he was studying where I was studying. Five months, 14 days, Hafid of Quran, full. From Alham to one nas. What you can't do? You can't do the same? We choose not to do. Because it's not convenient for me to leave my YouTube. It's not convenient for me to gram my photos. It's not convenient for me to leave my Snapchatting. It's not convenient for me to stop surfing on Twitter, reading the same garbage that gets forwarded by 500 people. But just so I can be the one to say, I forwarded it. I forwarded it. Just so I can be that one that can illuminate my Facebook page. Our worth has become what? Facebook? Our worth has become Twitter? These are things to help us. They should not be governing and ruling us.